Woo! Welcome back, everybody. Glad to see you. Glad you're here. Uh, Marvel has dropped the new trailer for Wakanda Forever. Um, pretty excited to see this trailer because I want to see some more after the uh, teaser that they dropped last month, I think. Um, which kind of gave us a few glimpses. Uh, so I'm interested to see this one and see uh, what more they're going to show us. Knowing them, they're probably going to like keep a lot of stuff under wraps. Um, but hopefully they'll give us a little bit more. It's about two minutes. So two minutes, ten seconds. So we'll see what they can fit in here. And uh, let's just not waste any time. Let's just jump right into it. I'm going to be stopping it as we go. Uh, you, know, we're, I'll, you know I'll post the whole link down below so you can go watch the whole thing uninterrupted if you want but um if something catches my eye i'm gonna stop it, so <laughs> all right let's check this out real quick okay so we know now that, that is definitely uh gonna be the funeral for t'challa um, as we suspected. So that's probably at the beginning of the movie, hopefully. I guess we'll see. Only the most broken people. Can be great leaders. That's still the best throne I've ever seen in my entire life. I want a throne made of a megalodon jaw. That is just so awesome. <laughs> hey, it's people. Do not call him General or King. They called him Kukul Khan. The Feather Serpent. Okay, so even Mbaku knows who this guy is, right? So apparently there's some kind of a history here that we're going to learn about that hasn't been discussed yet, um, which is kind of interesting. Atlantis has been hidden this entire time. Wakanda up until the last movie was hidden the entire time. Nobody knew, you know, ab about Wakanda's true Wakanda, you know, the, the super rich a uh, vibranium city that it was. So there's good. So there's obviously going to be a lot of history here. I think the fight on the ship, from what I understand from some other sources, is um, that's going to be like a like a flashpoint for for this um, feud. But apparently, it's a. It seems like it's a feud that's been going back for a while. So we're just going to be kind of like coming in on the middle of it or watching it reignite. Um, with Namor here in charge now. I love that. I am so glad they got him flying with his wings, with his ankle wings. That's so cool. <laughs> everybody, you know, everybody sees sees him flying and forgets that he only flies because he has wings on his ankles. It's interesting to note that um, he is considered Marvel's first mutant. Uh, in in the chronology of the books, he goes all the way back to World War II. He fought with um, with with Captain America and with Bucky and with the original uh, Human Torch and the Invaders. Uh, so he's been around for a minute, and he's considered the first mutant of Marvel. Even though we know that there are mutants that are older than him, like Apocalypse and stuff, but um, uh, he is he is the first mutant. I love that th that they had that incorporated, and they're using that. It's awesome. Killing him. Will risk eternal war. He's coming for the surface world. We know what you whisper. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, there's Ironheart. There's Super Brain Riri Williams creating her own iron suit. Now she's going to be Ironheart. So she's going to be the uh, 
new mech on hand. Show them who we are. She is. There's our new Black Panther in black and gold. Hmm. I'm not. I got. I got. I have a real problem with Shuri being Black Panther. I know she's royalty, so technically, you know, she's in line for it and all. But honestly, really. If you're going to give that mantle to somebody, you're going to give them to a professional fighter, a professional soldier, a professional warrior, you know, um, not Shuri. That's just, it just doesn't seem to fit, man. Mm. Looks good, though. Looks good, right? So there's that, but I just, man, I mean, what, is she going to take, are they going to find, find one of the flowers that didn't get destroyed or have like a backup somewhere and, ooh, yeah, I kept this just for such an occasion, kind of reveal, uh, or is she going at this like in an Iron Man way, like, is she, I mean, she's a brainiac, so is, is this just going to be like a, like a super suit and she's, re- and she's, you know, going to be relying on the vibranium aspects of the suit with very little very little combat experience whatsoever. It just doesn't seem right, man. I don't know. I just I would have given it to a Koya or something, just in my humble opinion. All right, what'd you think? Yeah, I tell you, man, it looks it, it, the 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 look of it is amazing. Um. I think that I think that it looks fantastic. Honestly, it's um, just a beautiful, just a beautiful look to it. I love that they're using the Aztec pantheon for this um, and the Aztec look for this, uh, much like they did with um, Moon Knight and even even Black Panther's pantheon connection. You know, Thor with being a Norse god and introducing. Um, Odin and Hercules with the Greek pantheon. So now they're adding the the, the South American pantheon. But that look is just really good. That, you know, just just the second you see him, you're like, oh, okay, that guy's from South America. Like, it just has that look about him. And it's just, it seems a fit. It's not Marvel at all. Like, this is really a unique take on Namor. And, uh, and I really hope he does a lot of justice to it. I hope, I hope they really make it um something special because that character that 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 cat is um just nothing but trouble you know he's either your best friend or your worst enemy depending on which side of the bed he woke up on that morning you know he's he's you know he's he's constantly going at it with reed Reed richards because he's in love with his wife with sue um he's an avenger but he's also a sworn enemy of wakanda um, he has no problem fighting anybody from Dr. Doom on down. He does not care. So it's interesting, you know, bringing in this character, I think was needed. Uh, and I hope that they treat him correctly and use him wisely in the MCU because they need something to work right. This, this fourth phase has just been as much as, as much as phase three fired on all cylinders and just capped off 10 years of MCU movies that just was epic in scale. You know, Phase 4 just really kind of fell, fell flat on its face from Thor, Love and Thunder to to um, Doctor Strange 2. Uh, just, just seeming to drop the ball everywhere. Black Widow was a travesty on so many levels. I'm still disgusted by the fact that they revealed who Taskmaster was and that you know that they, that it was a, that it was a woman, um, gender swapping them and then revealing the face just complete travesty. 
and you can hate me if you want to. I don't care. Taskmaster is awesome and underrated, and he's awesome because he will fight anybody uh, except Moon Knight. Uh, he he's like, you know, that dude's too crazy for me. But he he's never revealed his face. He has been around for man. I've been in comic books for forty years, and and he's been around forever it seems and he nobody knows who he is that's that's that character that character is taskmaster and you know they went and messed that up not to mention that they just kind of screwed up that entire movie the so they need a hit here and it's already surrounding controversy a lot of people are upset that they didn't recast um black panther after after bad uh chadwick boseman died um I remember when they announced that, I was kind of like, that's not a good idea. Like, I understand that it's tragic and all, but, and he was a great character. But leaving Black Panther, leaving T'Challa out of the MCU just does not feel right to me at all. At all. And it's just, and I don't think it's going to sit well. And, and, and I don't know, man. It's going to be interesting. What do you think? You agree? You disagree? I want to hear what you have to say. We can have this conversation. Uh, I'm all about talking comic books. I've been talking comic books for 40 years. I'm not going to quit anytime soon. So we can have this discussion. Uh, just drop me a comment below. Tell me if you agree or disagree, what your theory is on this on this movie and, and the, the next phase. Next phase kicks off with Ant-Man and Watts Quantumania uh, early next year. Um, so this is last, like the last hurrah for phase four. This is their last chance. They need to nail this one, I think. And, I, and I'm, I'm kind of worried about it. I really am. I think they're going to get something right, but I think they're going to make, make a huge miss on some other aspects. Um, anyway, do me a favor and jab that like button for me. I really appreciate it. And uh, share this with your friends and complete strangers. Uh, do leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. And uh, definitely come back and we'll do this again. In the meantime, please check out these other trailers that I've reviewed. Check out my channel for music you've never heard of. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Be safe.